Hello guys, welcome to episode 10 of our Access Control Explanatory Series. In this episode, we are going to go over the AC10 concurrent session control. But as always, a free way to support the channel is by hitting the subscribe button to help grow the channel if you haven't done that already. The YouTube analytics shows that a lot of people watching my videos are currently not subscribers. About 65% of you guys watching are not subscribers. Please support the channel by subscribing. This shows that you appreciate the content that I'm creating. And also do smash the like button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you and let's get started. Concurrent Section Control Concurrent Session Control is an access control mechanism for controlling the number of sessions a user can have at the same time on a single application. When a user that is already authenticated tries to authenticate again, the application can deal with that event or request in one of two ways. It can either invalidate the previous active session of the user and authenticate the user again with a new session, or allow both sessions to exist concurrently. This control is mostly applied to administrator access. If you are an administrator, your account is limited to a certain number of time that or a certain number of time you can establish a session on the same application. One of the best example of an application with concurrent session control is Netflix. Netflix, you know, you know, kind of resonate with a lot of us or most of us out there because if you have an account and you're already watching your tablet connection or establish a session already watching, you cannot, you know, connect again or somebody else cannot use your credentials somewhere else unless you have multiple sessions like two account at a time or three account or account but if you have one once you establish a session you cannot authenticate again with that same credential on the same netflix account yeah these are an example of what the current session control they control the number of sessions you can establish with a single uh credential now let's read the uh, control requirement for AC10 in 853 revision 5. AC10 concurrent session control. The control it limits the number of concurrent sessions for each assignment organization defined account and or account type. Two assignment organization defined number. Now let's look at the discussion. Organization may define the maximum number of concurrent sessions for a system account globally by account type, by account, or any combination thereof. For example, organization may limit the number of concurrent sessions for a system administrator or other individuals working in a particular sensitive domain or mission critical application. Concurrent sessions control addresses concurrent sessions for system accounts. It does not, however, address concurrent sessions by a single user via multiple system accounts. So what this is saying is that if you have, say, uh, you have your user account, you can authenticate onto, say, CSAM at the same time. You can also authenticate into, say, you know, if you have uh, Archer, you can authenticate into Splunk, you can authenticate into Arcsite. You know, those are separate accounts. That does not limit the number of time you can use your credentials to authenticate into you know, various or multiple account or applications. But then if you have, say, uh, your Splunk account, and if you authenticate on the Splunk, it means that you cannot go and open another session on a different computer, and then you try to authenticate onto the same application like Splunk again. You already had a section, session established on the Splunk, and now you are authenticating again on a different machine to Splunk application again that is what this control is checking against so for instance if your organization limit the amount of concur uh, the amount of session you can establish to splunk for example or csam to one if you already establish a, a session on one machine you cannot go and establish another session to that same application on a different machine that is what this control is saying but if you have your user account you can authenticate and create sessions or establish sessions on different applications splunk csam archer you know those kind of sessions will be allowed because but the single application is what this control is checking all right again so this control has no control enhancement none all right now let's look at the control requirement simplifications so this control is to ensure that users are allowed only approved number of connections 
to an application at the same time. The benefit of concurrent session control. Concurrent login can lead to the use of valid credentials by illegitimate personnel at the same time as the legitimate user to authenticate to the network. This could lead to multiple security issues within the organization, like misuse of users' personal information or resources to perform unauthorized actions. Therefore, most systems within agencies and organizations implement concurrent session control to check this kind of uh, behavior of what is using or you know taking over some authentication or credential that does not belong to you now let's look at the control assessment approach to ensure this control is in place and functioning as intended that is the design and functional or the operational effectiveness we do the following you obtain and examine the access control policy and procedure the dash one control you obtain and examine system security plan, the SSP, to read the concurrent session control implementation statement for how many sessions are allowed at a time for a regular and a privileged user, that is the admins. And then number three, you obtain a screenshot of the configuration settings or have a user log on and exceeding the maximum session allowed and observe if the excess session is disallowed. That's it for this episode. Our next episode will be on AC11, the device lock. If you like this control series, you can support me to create more of these videos by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm to expose these videos to more people who might benefit from these videos as well. And also remember, if you keep learning all the time, you have a huge advantage. Thank you and I'll see you in our next episode.